will be persistent and consistent. There's also long duration in that department. Uh, so far, as far as the snowfall goes, we are obviously not uh, seeing the end of it. We're just at the start of it. Some of the totals in Calicoon Center, uh, three inches there. Obviously, we've had several hours of snow to add to some of these totals, and as we get them in, we'll update them. Uh, but still snowing and pretty at a pretty good clip through Hempstead and Oyster Bay, where you see the dark shades of blue here. That's that heavy snow, and it's banding. It's almost like these waves of heavy snow. So you get some of that to come down really quickly, then maybe a little bit of a reprieve. But that can add up pretty quickly. Parsippany kind of in that dark shade right there, up towards Vernon and Ramapo, light to moderate snowfall in and around Elizabeth, the city, Yonkers too, light to moderate snowfall. Interesting to see what's happening across central and south Jersey. See that flip? It went from not much of anything, a little bit of a lull, till boom, you get that moisture to pull on in there, and we are seeing some heavy snow and heavy rain across parts of Ocean County and central New Jersey. The timing coincides with what's happening off the coast. We're starting to see our coastal low start to get together, so we are still at the beginning stages. That will sort of be a phase two if you you will heading into the midday. So looking at the snow totals in a place like Ocean County, Monmouth County, where you're still in that 12 to 18 inches on one side, tapering off pretty quickly where we expect the lull, a little bit of transition to rain and mixing still with the potential of snow coming down too. Uh, Long Island, a similar situation. You get out towards Hop Hog and Islip, uh, Freeport in that 8 to 12 inch range, coming out towards Mastic and uh, into Southampton, it's 5 to 8, but a little bit more mixing, less snow, 3 to 5 in a Montauk. So where is the jackpot? Still expected to be through central New Jersey for the most part. 18 to 24 inches of snow. Hackettstown in there. Uh, Bridgewater, Scotch Plains, Union, up towards Wyckoff and Patterson, uh, 12 to 18 in the city. So where is that heaviest snow coming from? Well, it's that developing low. Watch as we go through the next couple of hours, the dark shade of blue here. The numbers you see, by the way, are the wind gusts. So consistently over several more hours, 40 to even 50 mile per hour gusts possible. But that snow coming down at one to two inches per hour, that is very, very difficult for road crews to keep up. Do not be on the roads at this period for sure. And then by later afternoon in the evening, you start to see that transition back to maybe sleet and rain for Long Island. The shore maybe even a little sleet getting in through the city, but still going to the north and west. Several hours of heavy snow. That's how you get to uh, two feet of snow. And believe it or not, through tomorrow morning, tomorrow midday, and perhaps even into Wednesday morning, at least some light showers to flurries out of this. And then we get the sun to come back out. That's Thursday. It's brief because already watching the next system that could impact us for the weekend with some rain and snow is high stay in the 30s. Look at what's behind it, pulling down that cold air again back into the 20s. All right, 650, it's been a mess on the roads, Lauren. Right, and I would love to show you the conditions with the cameras are being fussy today <laughs> along with the conditions out there on the roads. They keep blinking in and out, but you could see just based on the traffic data, everything is moving slowly. Uh, those roads are obviously being treated out there, but sometimes one second you could see pavement and the next you can't. So. I'm going to show you where some of the accidents are. 80 eastbound out by exit 39. You have a crash there in New Jersey. Uh, you have a jackknife tractor trailer on 78 eastbound. Approaching exit 26, there have been numerous spin outs this morning, overturned trucks and jackknife tractor trailers. That's what you're going to encounter out there. Uh, here's the Long Island Expressway in Queens out by Little Neck Parkway. See, I told you they're blinking in and out. Uh, you can see some pavement, some cars out there. Be careful. There was an accident right here earlier, and we'll take a quick live look outside at the George Washington.